All right, this time I'm not messing around, Kettlekin, you monster trucker. I'm gonna kick your sorry butt. Okay, here we go. It took me. It didn't take me as long as I thought it would to get back up to this point, to be honest. But it took longer than it should have because I shouldn't have died there. And I'm not gonna bother going over my stats or anything because I'm roughly the same level now, I think. So um, I should be okay to just keep going without showing that off. I mean, I never really show my stats to begin with most of the time, so... Whatever. What harm is it going to do not show them now, right? That's right. Maybe I should actually be using a gnome or something on this guy because I can actually chain that somewhat now. I actually started to learn how to chain that. And I realized that there are certain spells that you can chain, certain that you can't. So, let's just try and do that. I'm only going to chain three there just because I don't want to go overkill. I don't want to bore you guys with the snore fest of, Oh, click gnome, click gnome, or the, the gem missile, go! Unicycle man. God, he looks so like, I'm going to get you with my hammers. But he never, like, bangs them down. And then he does, and then you're kind of screwed. Alright, uh, getting sort... I'm, I'm, I don't want to take anything lightly with this guy, so even though we're only moderately low in HP... I still want to heal us up. What is... What is his problem? Is he's not doing anything right now. He just keeps casting Lucid Barrier. <laughs> That's fine by me, I guess. Uh... If I did MP Absorb on this guy, does, does that do anything? Does that grant... Well, I think I actually tried that last time and it didn't really... So I don't know why I did it there. Alright. Man, that's twice in a row you failed that Fireball Edge. You gotta get your head in the game, man. Ow, jeez. Alright, hopefully I don't... Oh, I just got knocked out. I got knocked out by that guy that time. So did Edge. Oh, no. See, that's the danger of this guy is that he can so easily knock you unconscious. And unconscious is the last thing you want to be against the boss, especially. Look how easy that was, though. There was no right for me to die there last time. I don't know, I might just... This is short enough, I might just tack this on to the end of the last episode. But if not, this is episode 38 of uh, the... I was about to say the Wind Waker. Holy crap. Way to go, but it's Secret of Mana. In case you didn't realize that by now. Got Bow's Orbital, that's handy. That is just boss. Oh, speaking of boss. Too strong. Or Terra strong. He's the real knight. What idiot said he wasn't the knight? Let's scram! I love how last episode I like totally didn't read their text at all out loud, and then this time I did like nothing but- I don't know. It's become more of a pet peeve of mine. Oh, we're back up here now? Well, holy crap. It's become more of a pet peeve of mine lately to hear people actually reading the text in games. It's just... It's like, I don't know, I can see it, and I realize that the viewers can see it too, so why should I read it out loud? Do I assume they're brain dead or something? No, so... I don't know. It's just something that sort so, sort of started to irk me more nowadays. All right, so someone in the well, I guess it would be the last last videos episode 36's comments. Uh, is this a door? It is. Show enough. And uh, this looks like a. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I actually I want to head back out and explore a little bit here because someone like I was trying to say a second there, but I got distracted said that Nico is somewhere out here. I'm not sure if this was the point of the game that they were referring to. They just said that you'd be like back out on the surface at some point. And that I should probably um, look into finding Nico. And then like, oh, I forget exactly what they said. They said they'll like talk to them, say no, then leave and come back and he'll have better stuff to sell me. But I still don't know if I want to buy from Nico in the first place because like doesn't he double the prices? And they were talking about armor, and I know armor's already expensive, so I can't ima imagine, like, doubled prices like $500,000 for armor. It could get nasty pretty fast. Um, is this the path I was cl climbing up now? Yeah, okay. Well, you know what I'm actually going to do before anything else? Well, first I'm going to actually get to the top here and just see if Nico is, like, anywhere to be found. I'm um, also going to see if I can make any progress up here where I'm supposed to be able to go. Well, I couldn't head this way last time when I was up here, but... Because it was like, oh, it's no good. There's no uh, no way through yet. Yeah, up through here. Hey, wasn't Gemma here a bit ago? Yeah, we can't go this way. Alright, well, um... 
screw... Oh, there's Gemma. I, I guess he was taking a piss break or something. But, uh, let's go... Let's just fly on out of here really quick, because now that I know I have a safe place to keep continuing there. And let's go find a place to save, because I don't want some travesty like that happening again. Wasted way more time than it should have. And while I'm here in this inn at North Town that I just saved at, I figured I'd, uh, get this Bose Orb that I just got infused too. I have a lot of money now. I, like, had, like, 30,000 just a second ago, it feels like. Uh, wait, I can get this infused too? Well, I, sh I should probably prioritize this, even though I have enough money to get them both infused anyways. There's the Wing Bow. Alright, sweet. And this becomes... Uh, the Hammer Flail. I think I already got that infused earlier, and, I, like, just because it reverted my save, because I died. It, that went back and I forgot about it. So, uh, just forget that ever happened. But we got the wingbow now, so yay. By the way, someone was talking about the changed flammy music now. How, how it's much more somber, and how I didn't point it out earlier. I think it, but earlier, I was just kind of dumbfounded by the thing I just saw by a continent rising out of the ocean. That I didn't really take the time to notice, but now I do notice, and I love me a good somber tune. But I don't have time to waste right now, so... It's somber and epic at the same time, that's really cool. Might have to have a listen to that just on my own later, or something. God, these knights, these stupid knights, they are so freaking easy. <laughs> like, I was heading back through here after I died earlier, and like, those knights, they just, they're just nothing at all. I just realized how completely weak they are compared to everything else. And then they follow them up right away with those with that shapeshifter right there, who's like one of the tougher enemies around here that I've faced so far. Um, let me see, I don't go all the way over there yet. Oh, I gotta make sure I head the right way here, because one of these ways, one of these staircases down is the right way and one of them isn't. Alright, I'm not sure what the person was talking about with Nico, like me finding him, maybe he's somewhere else around here. I'm gonna... Take a oh shoot, I didn't want to head back down in there. Oh yeah, never mind. Mm. Alright, dude. Would you let me through, please? He was just no oh my god, these passageways are so narrow, there's no room for for, for movement. Hello, please. I like the look of these steel peons. I don't know why. Something about them strikes me as cool, but for, for an enemy. Maybe it's pro it's probably the one eye. Like, how can a one-eyed scorpion, or steel peon, excuse me, a, well, a f effectively a one-eyed metal scorpion, how can that not be cool? I mean, you just listen, you just hear that, that description, a one-eyed metal scorpion, you're like, damn, I don't want to tangle with that thing, even though in reality they're actually pretty easy to take down. <laughs> Alright, so uh, this seems like the new way to go with these heck hounds. Heh, <laughs> nice. Come on, you can be ballsy and go for Hellhounds. I wouldn't mind. Hellhounds has always one of been... God, I'm dyslexic. But uh, it's always been like one of my favorite names for like anything, period. Hellhounds. It's just so the alliteration and the dramatic impact at least on you because it uses the word hell. So it's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's like, ooh. What the hell is this thing, though? Lightsaber level 5. Oh, God. We got some little froggy thing here. He thinks he can kill us with a lightsaber. Is this one of the? Is this like an upgraded version of the turtle? Yeah, it is. Turt Lance, ha! <laughs> God, so much punniness. All right, um, well, I should probably finish off what I started up here. Gremlins confused. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna analyze these guys just so I'm just not fumbling around here too much. That's actually what helped me a lot when I was, like, tr grinding earlier. Is like, I used Sylpha to analyze these guys and got their weaknesses. He fears Lumina. Well, how about that? Let's just see. The one thing I don't like about enemies that fear Lumina is that this is the only Lumina offensive spell I have, and it costs 8 MP to cast. So, it's kind of gnarly. Oh, see, that didn't even do anything. <laughs> so, what's the point? Alright, I guess I know not to attack those guys magically anymore. Alright. Um, oh, jeez, all well, these swords look conspicuous to me. Oh man, they just stood out like a sore thumb there. <laughs> I love that these sor these swords can s cast the saber spells. It just fits them perfectly. It fits their personalities. Personalities of the swords. Ooh, there's a crystal there. 
Well, if these master swords would get out of my face. I'm sorry, doom swords. Get your face out of my place, doom sword. Jeez, I'm going all meme on you guys. Sorry about that. Uh, spear reached level 7. Damn. That's pretty cool. And he reached level 45 himself. How about that? Alright, now let's, uh, let's analyze this crystal. See what we can make do with it. Or will it be the one magic that I don't have yet? Undyne's magic will work. Nope, it's the first magic that I ever did see. So let's not w not waste any time. You gotta love how convenient these stupid crystals are. Heard a distant sound. Where'd that book come from? <laughs> He's like, Roar, how dare you freeze my crystal? I'm gonna kick your ass. National Scar? Is that what that is? is the, wait, was that what that was actually called? National Scar? Now, I can't be reading that right. <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard in my life. That makes me think of, because I just recently watched The Lion King, so that puts, that's like a totally different perspective on the word scar. It's like a different context for me. It's just like, what? Like, nationals? I just don't even comprehend that. And so, I guess the whole point of this room was just that crystal. Fine by me. Uh, well, let's check out the other side of the palace then, I suppose. Probably another door over, over yonder. Yeah, there sure enough is. I wonder if there'll be another crystal in here. It looks very possible. And it looks possible that Salamando's magic would work on it. What was I saying? I was saying how stupidly convenient those crystals are. It's like, yeah, we're gonna put a defense mechanism here so that only... I guess that's pretty smart, though, if they would only want, like, the legendary hero who had this magic, or the legendary heroes who had this magic, to be able to get through. Then those crystals do make sense, I guess, but still, it's just such a... Such a forced sort of plot device. Well, that's not even a plot device, actually. But these doom swords are much, much less threatening than you would anticipate from a sword from such a foul blade. Especially with the word doom in its name. Holy crap! Live up to your name. <laughs> these stupid things called metal crawlers—they don't even have a name to live up to, and they're kicking your ass as enemies. All right. Uh, just to be sure of what this is, I'm I'm pretty sure this is going to be Salamando, because it's like fire and ice sort of contrast like that, if that's what they're going for. Gnome's magic, alright, well they color me stupid. Here you go. And I assume, hear a distant sound, is also another national scar, how great! This is like my favorite enemy now. It looks cool too. I love the green and black. That's like one of my favorite color combinations. Can you just summon that weird imp thing? Don't do Explorer level 5. You know what I've noticed? It's just, it's just these stupid enemies that can cast Explorer level 5, like whatever cast there, I think it was the imp or the National Scar or something, and, and like the Captain Ducks, they can all cast Explorer level 5, and they always always only cast it on Argon, exclusively. It's like... <laughs> like, is there some... Oh, look, now they're casting Evil Gate level 5. At least that's something different. Like, jeez, Louise. It's just like... I know this is a silly thing to, like, get angry about, but it's like, really? You're just gonna... Yeah, this is such a powerful offensive spell, and you're only gonna target me? Plus, I'm the one with, like, the highest HP, so it's not even gonna matter all that much. God, this national scar is giving me a lot more to run for my money than the per first one did. I'll tell you that much. Ooh, hello. What you got for me? Something rare? Something good? Something doom trap? Uh oh, still alive? All right. Well, you're dying. I'll be still alive. Tell you what. <laughs> 